Hello, people. Welcome back to Hey Bartender. My name is Gustavo Rojas, your personal bartender, with another fun, delicious cocktail. And I don't know if you ever hear that little saying, uh, less is more. Well, when it comes to cocktails, actually, it does apply. Please stay with me and let me show you how we're going to do the blood orange gin martini. The blood orange gin martini. What are we gonna need? Super easy. Three ingredients. Gin, Grand Marnier, and blood orange juice. Uh, there is not too much science behind this guy. Actually, this cocktail, I will totally suggest it for like a really cool brunch. You know, maybe one Sunday, around 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the afternoon, you know, hanging out with some friends, hopefully in your home, in the safety of your house. Uh, with the proper protection and with the proper distance. That being said, you can make also this uh, cocktail in large batches if you want to. That way, if you know, if you have a couple extra friends in your house, well, you're just gonna actually put them on that ice shaker and serve it really fast. Well, that being said, let's work it through. We're gonna start with two ounces of a gin of your preference. Uh, this case I have a um, beef feeder, but I mean, obviously, one of the nicest ones is gonna be, I don't know, uh, the Tanqueray. Uh, there is another uh, nice brand uh, of Tanqueray, uh, Rambutan, if I remember well. Never mind, it's not the word. But um, anyway, you can use the gin of your preference. Let's go for two ounces right here. It's gonna be followed by three ounces a freshly squeezed red blood orange juice. Also, you can get some blue uh, orange curacao. And uh, in my case, I want to use uh, the Grand Marnier. I like it a little bit uh, more like a, the little notch that it brings up into the cocktail. So we're going to go for half of an ounce. And I mentioned before, these little bottles, they come so handy. You don't have to buy the whole bottle and then uh, keep it in your shelf for like seven or eight months. All right. Just to add a little bit more of a taste, let's put some orange bitters, two dashes, more than enough. Let's get some ice. And let's give it a shake. Producer is looking at me like a hurry up with that one. Nice. All right. Perfectly chill martini glass. And let's strain this bad boy. Obviously, the orange is going to be fresh, so it's going to have a little bit of a pulp around. It's up to you if you want to have some of the pulp. Sometimes I like it out on my cocktails, but up to you. You can double, uh, double strain it. Color is perfect. And for your garnish, well, obviously you're gonna need a little bit of a red blood orange if you can make like a really nice wheel. And uh, what I like to do here is just skewer um, a little a red blood orange with uh, some rosemary. Place it on top of your cocktail. So there you have it, the blood orange gin martini. Salud, everyone.